Hello students, welcome to Shoud Upsir classes. In this video, we will be solving a few questions from the model question paper of SAT examination, which is the scholastic assessment test. The question number 8 says that if A by B is equal to 2, what will be the value of 4B by A? So A by B equals to 2 implies B by A will be equals to half and our required answer is 4 into B by A. So we will multiply both sides by 4. So this will become 2. Our answer is 2 or option C for question number 8. Coming to the next question, question number 9. As you can see here our equation, two equations 3x plus 4y equals to minus 23 and 2y minus x equals to minus 19. So you ask that what is the solution of the system of equations. To solve these equations, we will write down the equation again 3x plus 4y equals to minus 23 and 2y minus x equals to minus 19. Now to solve this equation, let's say this is the equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. If we now, if we now multiply this equation, equation number 2 with 3, we will get 6y minus 3x is equals to minus 57. So we have we have multiplied both sides 2x y minus x becomes 6y minus 3x and minus 19 becomes minus 57. So we have multiplied both sides with 3. So now we have got the third equation that is 6y minus 3x equals to minus 57. Now if we add the first equation, equation number 1 and equation number 3, we will get 3x plus 4y was equals to minus 23 and 6y minus 3x is minus 57. So if we add these two equations, we will get minus 3x and plus 3x will be cancelled out. So we will get 10y will be equals to minus 23 minus 57 which is equals to minus 80 or y is equals to minus 8. So we have got the value of y and using the value of y in any of the equation we will, we, are, we will get the value of x as well. So we will use the value of y in the equation number 2. So x is equals to 2y plus 19 here 2y plus 19 as y equals to minus 8 2y will be become minus 16 so minus 16 plus 9 which is equals to 3 so we have got the value of x and y x comma y is equals to 3 comma minus 8 this is our answer answer is 3 comma minus 8 hence option b is correct for question number 9 Coming to the next question, question number 10. In question number 10, you can see a function that is function of g, function of x, that is gx is represented as ax square plus 24, where a is a constant and x is variable. So g is the function here, g is defined as ax square plus 24. And it is also mentioned that g4 is equals to 8. So g4, the value of g4 is equals to 8. So according to this equation, g4 will be equals to 4 square into a. So this is a into 4 square plus 24, which is equals to 16a plus 24. So the value of 16a plus 24 is equals to 8. What is the value of a then? The value of a will be equals to 8 minus 24 divided by 16. That is minus 16 by, min by 16 which is equals to minus 1. So the value of a is minus 1. You are asked the value of the function g of minus 4. So g of minus 4 will be equals to a, a into minus 4 whole square plus 24 where the value of a is minus 1 so this will become minus 4 square is 16 so minus 1 
into 16 plus 24 which is equals to minus 16 plus 24 or plus 8. So the value of g, g of minus 4 is equals to 8 or option A is correct for question number 10. Now coming to the next question, question number 11. In question number 11, you can see two equations, a set of equations. B represents, here B represents the, the price of beef and C represents the price of chicken. So B represents the price of beef and C represents the price of chicken. And the equation B is expressed as B equals to 2 0.35 plus 0.25x and c equals to 1.75 plus 0.40x where x denotes the weeks after July 1. So the question is asked that what was the price per pound of beef when it was equals to the price per pound of chicken. So what was the value of b equal b or c when this was these two were equal equal. So we can write 2.35 plus 0.25x is equals to 1.75 plus 0.40x which is equals to 0.40x minus 0.25x is equals to 2.35 minus 1.75 or now solving this equation we will get 0.15x is equals to 0.60 so the value of x is equals to 4 this can be cancelled out with 4 so x is equals to 4 now using the value of x and putting the value of x in any of these equation we will get the value of b or c when b was equals to c so b will be equals to 2.35 plus 0 0.25 into 4 which is equals to 3.35 we can cross check the same by putting the value of x in the equation c so it will become 1.75 plus 0 0.4 into 4 which is equals to 1.75 plus 1.6 that is 3.35 so when b was equals to c their value was dollar 3.35 hence option d is correct for question number 11 question number 12 a line in xy plane passes through the origin and has a slope of 1 by 7. So which of the following points will lie on the line? So there are 4 points mentioned 0, 0,7, 1, 0,7, 7, 7, 7 and 12, 14,2. So which one of the points will lie on the line? You have to see. So we know that the equation of any line which passes through the origin is y equals to mx where m is the slope of that line so we can write here y is equals to 1 by 7 x as here the value of m is 1 by 7 mentioned because the slope is 1 by 7 so x is equals to 7 y so the relationship between x and y is equals to x equals to 7 y so now let's check the options 0, 0,7 where x is taking the value 0 and y is taking the value 7 this doesn't satisfy this equation x equals to 7y next so this is wrong next 1, 1,7 so the value of x is 1 and the value of y is 7 if we put the value of y as 7 the value of x becomes 49 so hence this option is also incorrect now 7, 0,7 if x equals to y was our equation, 7 comma 7 could satisfy. Hence, this is also incorrect. And the last option that is 14 comma 2. So, if we put the value of y as 2, we will get the value of x as 7 into 2 which is equals to 14. Hence, option D is correct for question number 12. 
the value of x is 14 and the value of y is 2 so the combination so the point so the point is 14 comma 2 which lies on the given line thank you if you have any doubt you can call us in this number 9836 793076 or you can send us email at showrubsar classes at the rate gmail.com thank you hope you have enjoyed our video and stay tuned for more videos on sat preparation